you want to work on two Power Queries at the same time, or perhaps look at a previous version's Power Query while looking at the current one, Excel limits that. But what we can do is create a second instance of Excel. So here's my Power Query. If I open another file in this instance, I won't be able to work on two Power Queries. What I can do is I go down here, I hold my Alt key down, right click, and then keep holding your Alt key and click on Excel and keep holding until you get this message saying, do you want to start a new instance of Excel? When I say yes, you'll see Excel opens up. And now what I can do, I'm going to open another file. So there's my other file. I'll just close this one down. I'm just going to put them next to each other so we can see everything in one go. Now these are two separate instances. So if I come here, you'll see I can say edit. So I'm now into Power Query. And what's nice about this is this is a separate instance. So if I want to look at the data, I can look at the data or I could come here, go into, in this case, version two's Power Query. You can move them across and now I've got both Power Queries open and you can see this one has got one extra step where it reordered the column. This one does it. You can work on them both. Just be very careful to make sure you know which one is the one you want to work on. Just keep them separate.